previously an engineer boy we have already learned the steel calculation for an isolated footing but in this video our approach is to work out the concrete work for an isolated footings okay i mean for all types of isolated footings because the method we're gonna discuss over here is enough for all types of isolated footings okay such as flat stepped square rectangular and circular isolated footings of course and to learn these guys i'm gonna have just few examples such as to work out the quantity or the concrete work of these two isolated footings so let's go ahead and to give solutions to these problems and the first thing i'm gonna work out this guy okay and to do it i'm gonna divide this into three parts or portions just like that so the total concrete for the square isolated footing must be now the concrete per portion 1 plus the concrete per portion 2 plus the concrete per portion 3. So we'll just calculate these guys separately and then we'll add them together so we can get the total concrete work per the square isolated footing. Alright, so first I'm gonna calculate portion first, which is just like a flat slab, okay? So it is so simple and straightforward, you can say, okay? its area times thickness must be its volume and the area this guy is given okay just in the drawings if you see it is a square of one by one okay so its area must be one by one times its thickness which is also given were there and that is 15 centimeters or you can say 0.15 meters so its concrete work must be now 0.15 cubic meters and next, I'm gonna calculate portion 3 because portion 2nd is a little tricky over here, okay? And portion 3 is just like a vertical beam or just a, you can say, a, a, a rectangular prism, okay? So, its volume must be the multiplication of its three sides or the cross-section area times its height. And as you can see, from the drawings, we can say its cross-sectional area must be 20 times 20 centimeters or you can say 0.2 times 0.2 meters. That's it. That's so simple, okay? Times its height, and it is given, which is 30 centimeter plus 60 centimeter plus 3 meters. And that is going to be 3.9 meters, okay? So if you multiply these three guys, we can get, of course, the volume of portion 3, which is 0.156 cubic meters. Now for the concrete of portion 2nd, we can of course use this formula, okay? This formula can be used to determine the volume of frisdom of cone or frisdom of pyramid. Like V equals H by 3. H represents over here the height, which is in this time 0.25 meters or 25 centimeters. So 0.25 divided by 3 times A1 plus A2. Remember A1 and A2 are just the top and bottom areas. Like if you look to the model just like this, okay, A1 can be taken as the top area just like this one, okay, 20 times 20 and A2 can be taken as the bottom area which can be 1 times 1, okay, or these guys can be also taken reversely or you can say A1 can be taken as the bottom area and A2 can be taken as the top area. That is not a problem, okay. Alright, so let me take a1 is the top area and A2 is the bottom area. So A1 is going to be 0.2 meters times 0.2 meters and A2 is going to be 1 times 1. Okay, it is already given in the drawings. So now we're gonna put all these videos in that formula to get the volume of portion second. And by doing little mathematics, we can get the volume of portion second is 0.103 cubic meters. Now finally, we got the total concrete work is 0.4093 cubic meters, okay, for the square isolated footing. And next, I'm gonna go ahead for the second example, which is an example of a circular isolated footing. And again, I'm gonna divide this guy into three portions. And the total concrete work must be the concrete of portion 1 plus second plus third. So portion 1 is going to be, it is just a flat slab, but this time it is circular. In the previous example, it was a square. This time we got a circular, okay? So it's area times thickness. And the area of a circle is, remember, pi d square divided by 4 and times thickness, okay? So it is going to be the volume of portion first. 
now the diameter of that portion is only one if you see okay it is already known from the drawings if you see over here it is one meter so pi times one square divided by four times the thickness is already given which is 15 centimeters or 0.15 meters so the volume of portion one is going to be 0.118 cubic meters and now if you look to the second portion of course it is a first dump of a cone so we can use the same formula okay just use in the previous example so it is going to be this guy and the only thing we need over here is h a1 and a2 okay which is already given which is 25 centimeters so we're gonna calculate a1 and a2 let's say a1 is going to be the top area so pi d squared divided by 4 can be used this time this time the top diameter is 0 0.30 meters so a1 is going to be pi times 0 0.30 square divided by 4 and that is of course 0 0.0706 square meters and a2 is going to be pi d square divided by 4 the diameter of the bottom is 1 meter so a2 equals pi 1 square divided by 4 which is of course 0.785 square meter so now by putting these values in the above formula and by doing little mathematics with this guy we can get of course the volume of portion 2 equals 0 0.0909 cubic meter okay and now let me come into the portion third which is of course just the same thing a cylinder okay a vertical cylinder so its area times its height must be the volume of portion 3 which is of course pi d squared divided by 4 times its height okay because it is also a circle in a section the diameter of that cylinder is 30 centimeters or you can say 0 0.30 meters so pi times 0 0.3 square divided by 4 times its height which is also of course 3.9 meters and that is of course the volume of portion 3 which is 0.275 cubic meters now the total concrete for this circular isolated footing is going to be the summation of all these portions which is of course 0.485 cubic meters and that's it. So this is how we can calculate the concrete or volume of an isolated footing. Hey if you like these types of videos please hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon and never miss an update from an engineer boy. Thank you dears for watching, see you next time,